100 years, Archbishop Malloy has been one of the finest educational institutions in New York City. As a Catholic college preparatory school for boys, Malloy seeks to educate the whole person, to provide a caring environment that addresses the religious, academic, personal, and physical needs of each individual student. We strive to prepare our students to become intelligent Christian adults who will actively contribute to society. Welcome. I'm Brother John Klein, the principal of Archbishop Malloy High School. The program that you're watching was shot primarily by our own students for their video yearbook. Hopefully their efforts will provide a clear picture of the academic, religious, and social life of Archbishop Malloy. My advice to the uh, eighth graders who, uh, the eighth graders now is to come to Malloy, you know, because these are going to be the best years of your life. You know, you might as well spend it at a great institution. You got good feedback when you said, oh, I'm going to Malloy. Oh, Malloy, you're going to Malloy. You made you out like an angel. Well, it's, it's hard to put into words your feelings towards Malloy, because the words I don't think would do Malloy justice. You know, it's a feeling that only a, a Malloy student would understand. All right, gentlemen, let's start with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I would say Malloy is where a student is serious about his academic work. He sees the importance of a good education, and he's got some future goals for himself in terms of what he wants to do down the road. Does Malloy deserve its reputation? I think, I think it, it doesn't, it's not a tough school. It'll challenge you, and you have to work hard. They do work you hard. But you know, you, you really don't like notice it, you know, because you, you want to do well. Kids at Malloy, I think, want to do well. Everything relies on you. There's always people to help you out, but you have to make the first step. The main thing that makes Malloy special, I think, is the teachers really, they really are like involved with the students. They really care. We certainly have a faculty uh, that is concerned uh, about their students, okay? Uh, a faculty that is motivated to make sure their students succeed. We also have, in general, motivated kids. They want to succeed. They want to do well. Although, as my daughter once said to me, nobody wants to fail, Daddy. <laughs> so that's, we just seem to have more students, it seems to me, that, that want to succeed and try very hard to. <laughs> Was that for they're always willing to help whenever you have a problem, whether it deals with school or, you know, home. This year we were like in awe of over our teachers and like the, what we were learning and everyone just pretty much paid attention. I don't think I had a teacher I didn't like. I liked all of them a lot. Faculty stay here because it's, it's, it's a wonderful place to be. All right, gentlemen, remember we have a quiz tomorrow and you have homework due tomorrow. Have a good day. Always had uh, uh, excellent student athletes who were willing to put the time in to excel at what they were doing and to to be better than they could possibly be. We find ourselves saying every year, "What an outstanding kid this is," you know, and we say it about it, not just one youngster. We seem to be saying it about a lot of different kids. Our records here in athletics and academics combined are unmatchable, I would say, by any school in this country. 
So many of the, the kids get up at uh, 6 o'clock in the morning and they're going, if they're on a team here, they're busy until 7 o'clock at night and then they travel home and they have to do homework. To get good grades in an academically demanding school like this, I think, I, I'm amazed at what the kids here can do. Hasbro puts it up! Yes! We won the game! In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and the peace and the love of the Lord Jesus be with all of you. And good morning, fellas. The people give them uh, some sense of their own belief. And that's probably the strongest thing that any Christian school can do, is, is to, to show and demonstrate that uh, people can believe and also be intelligent. People can believe and also live in the modern world. Um, people can believe and have questions about their religion. The masses here are really nice. And everyone gets into it. And you have kids reading, and you have kids Eucharisting. They, they put on plays sometimes, and they have them set up all over the gym. It's nice to get into it. It's a homey feeling. I think what the kids themselves will love the most is the people here that there are people here who are unique, not only are they talented, they're uniquely talented, but they have a tremendous interest in students. And these students, I think, will be exposed to a kind of interest and concern which is uh, very unique. Religion is important. I think that's one thing that's really good about Malloy. They, a lot of other schools, they don't really have a, an extensive religion course like Malloy does. It's a, it's a really good course because it makes you see more about yourself and about like the religion with God and makes you like want to, like, I know before I, I came here, I didn't really go to church that much, but now I started going to church a lot more because, I don't know, I guess I learned something in religion class. So that at the end of this whole thing, we would hope that intellectually at least, our students have a, a sense of the questions that exist in religion, and also a sense that there are believing people who have these questions and continue to, uh, to gain, really, from, from their belief. That, would, to me, would be terribly important in today's world. Malloy has a good reputation because of a strong academic program and great athletic teams, but that doesn't come close to describing all the things that standards do. Take this for instance. I guess the most important thing is to get involved and not be a member of the 218 club just going home right after school, because by getting involved you uh, meet new people and have more fun. Welcome to International Day. The purpose of retreats, I think, I believe, is to get people to know each other, to take you out of the school environment, to put you into a more quiet setting. It brings you away for a weekend. Um, you're interacting with kids your own age. Uh, you meet different adults. Other schools, from what I've heard, maybe go to the back, sit by a tree and read a Bible, whereas we play sports, we pray, um, we reflect, and learn about a lot about ourselves. The Christmas toy drive is one way that Malloy students help other people. Each year the Stanners donate loads of toys for children of families that wouldn't be able to afford them. Malloy students are involved in many voluntary activities that help people in our local area. Brother Michael Sheeran coordinates the activities through the Religious Activities Office of this school. The Religious Activities Office exists to enhance and develop the various religious education that goes on here in our school. We run drives for the needy, we encourage volunteerism, and we do a lot of work on the school liturgies. Each year, we run an annual Coats for Kids drive in conjunction with WNSR radio station. We just completed our Fastathon as we're looking at world hunger as a Lenten project for the school. And with Fastathon last week, with over 200 students and faculty fasting, we were able to pledge over $5,300. We're doing a lot of good work here, but we're all pretty hungry. We have some students who have gone out into the local volunteer ambulance course. Here we find students learning how to respond to emergency situations, as well as learning the various components of an ambulance corps. At St. John's Hospital, we have 13 of our seniors serving as Eucharistic ministers. Here we find them taking communion to the poor and the elderly in the hospital, comforting them with some words and giving them communion.
another step towards our break. And like, if we don't move, we're gonna be late, so later. Staying here uh, half your day, and like you're not looking forward to go home. You're looking forward to coming back to school the next day. Because they don't want just anybody coming in here. They want somebody who's going to work, going to help the school, and who's going to uh, benefit from Malloy and also uh, benefit Malloy. I don't think I'll ever be ready to leave this place. Couldn't ask for any more. Thank you for watching. The young men who attend Archbishop Moy High School are challenged academically, athletically, and personally. Their reward is one of the finest educational experiences any school could offer. <laughs>